Hey folks, Mr. Dell here. Uh, we're looking at finding some angle <clears throat> measurements uh, based on um, having parallel lines cut by transversals. So uh, I'm taking this problem from CPM's course three, and this is 9.1.1, okay? Uh, number nine dash nine. So it says if M is the measure of M, excuse me, the measure of angle five, so the measure of angle five equals 53 degrees, and the measure of angle seven equals 125, find the measurements of each numbered angle. Then explain how you found each angle, citing definitions, conjectures that support your steps. So we know, and I'm going to put it on here so we see it, we know that angle five is 53 degrees. So this is five, and that's 53 degrees. And angle seven it says is 125, 125 degrees. So I need to figure out other angle measurements. Well, a couple things I can do. Right off the get-go here, I can, I can find four and six based on these two because I know that we have a straight angle, right? So angle, the measure of angle four plus the measure of angle five would equal 180 because there it's a straight angle, right? So straight angle uh so therefore and i'll put a little therefore symbol those little dots therefore the measure of angle four we can find that one first would be 127 127 degrees okay and then what's also true the same thing is true for the measure of angle six plus the measure of angle seven is also equal to 180 degrees because again, they're also straight angles. And therefore we could say that the measure of angle seven, oh, we know seven already, excuse me, the measure of angle six, that's the one I need to find, is gonna equal, since that's 125, measure of angle six would be uh, 45, right? Because 180 minus 125 is 45. All right, we got those two angles. Okay. Now, I'm going to continue on because now once I know that this is 127, so we see this line here. See this line here? That is a transversal, right? Because it cuts through these two par 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 parallel lines. So, and we also can see that if that's a transversal, we have this angle here plus angle four. So angle one and angle four, I don't want to put my notes over here. So the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle four is also going to equal 180 because these are same side interior angles, right? And I'll write it down for notes, same side interior angles. Because there's that transversal, that plus that equals 180. Therefore, we can also then at this point come up with the angle of measure, the measure of angle four. If this is 120, or I already had four. I meant to say one. Four is 127. So angle one, measure of angle one would be 180 minus 127, which would be 43 degrees. Okay. So we've got one, let's see, I've got one, I've got four, I've got five, I already did six. So let's see if I can find another. Um, oh, I can tell with three, if I, if I look again, I have another transversal. Do you see this here is another transversal line that cuts these two per parallel lines. So that means if I know six, I also know three. So... Uh, and I'll write my little note down here. What's true is the measure of angle six is equal to the measure of angle three because those are alternate interior angles. Alternate interior angles, right? Alternate interior angles are equal. And so, therefore, we would say the measure of angle 3 is equal to, if 6, I found 6 earlier, where was that at? 6 was 45 degrees, 
So therefore, 3 is also 45 degrees. Okay. My last one, let's see, so I'll put it there. It's 45 degrees. That one's 45 degrees. Uh, my last and one I already found was 43 degrees. So I got to find measure of angle two. Uh, there's a few things I could do to find angle two. Uh, one of them, I know that, uh, I'll just do it this way. I know that all three of these angles, angle one plus two plus three, I'm going to write it up here. So the measure of angle one plus the measure of angle two plus the measure of angle three, all of those equal 180 degrees, right? One plus two plus three, all three of these, because this right here is a straight line. And so all three angles add up to be that straight angle, right? They're all on that straight angle. So they're all 180. So that being said, I can then figure out my last one, which is angle two. I would take 45 and 43, add those up, you get 88. So then 180 minus 88 is 92. So that means a measure of angle two is 92 degrees. So I think I got them all. There we go.